Hello everyone, welcome to the Bulldog Insider. We're pleased to have head football coach Kalen DeBoer with us today. Tough way to start the show though with the Kobe news. Coach, it's all everyone's talking about today. Are you a Kobe fan and what's your reaction to what happened? Yeah, it's, it's really sad. Um, I'll be honest, I was uh, walking and, and working out and, and heard the news. Uh, one of our coaches uh, kind of sent me the message and it kind of had put a pit in my stomach. It really did. And, um, you know, I'm a fan of all, all people who make their game better, um, and he certainly has done that. And, um, you know, I, I can think of the years you follow the legends, and following him through the years has been certainly something I've done. But uh, I certainly had a pit in my stomach, and you just uh, you feel for him and his family, or for his family. And, and uh, it just, uh, you know, what it does to me is it puts it in perspective of how important, you know, every day is that you have. And uh, I talked to our coaches already about that. No way to easily transition away from this, but let's talk football, Coach. How does it feel to just have one job? Because for a while there, you were both yeah. the offensive coordinator yeah. at Indiana and the head coach at Fresno State. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a couple weeks there where uh, it was on the go. It was nonstop and uh, a lot going on, but uh, was able to really work both and fortunate to have a coach on the other end and Tom Allen, the head coach there, that was really uh, interested in trying to make this work and on this end as well. So. Um, you know, I really felt like there was, uh, with the class being in place, uh, there wasn't a lot that had to be done on the recruiting end in those uh, couple weeks and uh, was still making preparations with building a staff and uh, we were able to do that successfully. When you were hired last month, the opening was there because Coach Tedford stepped down due to health reasons. He mentioned a procedure he was going to have done at the Mayo Clinic this month. Do you happen to know how it went and how he's doing? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it went well and uh, probably for him uh, the biggest thing is staying low key and you know during the recovery uh, just knowing how Coach is I'm sure he's ready to get up and get going and he's probably still thinking about football uh, as we speak. Coach Tedford is the one who hired you when he was hired as head yeah. coach back in late 2016. Yeah. Now you're in the process of hiring your staff. We've seen some videos on Twitter. When do you expect the full staff to be announced? Yeah, it, it will be soon. It's just uh, got to go through the process uh, here at Fresno State with the hiring and um, you know, certainly know, you know pretty much who we're going to have on, on board and, and every day we get closer to that. But uh, I'm really excited to get this staff out and incorporate, in, integrate it into the community. Uh, we got great people, guys who are experts uh, in coaching, uh, great teachers, great recruiters, um, and uh, you know, a very uh, kind of a, a diverse group you know, coming in, uh, people that I've known, but also guys that I don't, and along with the staff that's already been here that uh, is in place. Speaking of coaches, you're not the only new head coach in the Mountain West's West Division. Are you surprised that Rocky Long and Nick Rolovich are no longer leading San Diego State and Hawaii? Because you play those teams every year. Right, yeah, and there's a number of coaches throughout the Mountain West, uh, <clears throat> even more than that. And so uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, to me, an opportunity for us to not lose ground and actually gain some uh, with the continuity that we can have here at the staff and hit the ground running and um, you know I'm certainly excited about our team and that's what we're going to focus on is who we have and what we do um, but yeah it is a uh, kind of a crazy year in the Mountain West Mountain West with the coaching changes. One more question about another Mountain West program that's not Fresno State. Boise State recently filed a lawsuit against the conference. Has everything to do with that television deal? Um, Boise State wants its home games to be sold as a separate package. Do you have an opinion on that? Do you think Boise State should be treated differently? You know, I, I don't, well, no, I mean, we're all part, the, part of the Mountain West, you know, but I understand that there's things that were in place at certain times, and I don't know enough about it to comment too in depth, but, uh, you know, we're all part of this organization, this conference, and, and uh, you know, we each got to do our part. All right, he's Kalen DeBoer, head football coach at Fresno State. Time for a quick break. More with Coach when we come back. 